What do people that come to your house say when the they see this? The first thing they walk, say when they walk down, they walk down and they go, oh, wow. And everybody who comes in says that. But what else can you put there that would make everybody say yeah. that? I just love it. I yeah. really love it. This is a serious hobbyist, right? Yeah. You've done two projects for them? Yeah, I built the original pond, six foot by four foot pond for goldfish 10 years ago, maybe. Now, how does your wife like this? She doesn't, so I haven't got one. <laughs>So we're in Rushden. Yeah, Rushden, Northamptonshire. <laughs> Northamptonshire, and we're um, going to a customer that you built, rebuilt their pond, right? Yeah, complete new rebuild. It was a, an existing eight foot by eight foot pond. Basically, we came in and built an eight foot by 10 foot pond for them. So I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. And it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle, including out here in Rushton. Rushton, Northamptonshire. What's up, mate? How are you, mate? Yeah. <laughs>
just amazing to me, you know, and with so little effort. What do people that come to your house say when the they first see this? Thing they walk, say when they walk down, they walk down and they go, oh, wow. And everybody who comes in says that. What else can you put there that would make everybody say yeah. that? I just love it. I yeah. really do. What is there not to love about this? And what I love about it is that they took a high maintenance water feature and made it into a low maintenance ecosystem water feature. And that's what this entire channel is about. It's showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle, even out here in England. Because the traditionally built pond is high maintenance. It's not as pretty. We want to make things that are lower maintenance. If you're interested in learning how to build water features like this, we're going back to England with the Pond Advisor in December. And we're going to put a series of seminars together where we actually teach people how to do the aquascape way ponds done right low maintenance and beautiful customers serve right enjoyable water features and if you're in the states and want to do it check out the aquascape academy we do it all winter long so mark you want to introduce us to your customer this is richard me the pond guy hey richard nice to meet you <laughs> this is a serious hobbyist right yeah you've done two projects for them yeah i built the original pond six foot by four foot pond for goldfish 10 years ago maybe and you like the pond guy on YouTube, huh? Oh, it's wonderful, yeah. All right, well, I love seeing fans. Let's go see one of his ponds. Oh, yeah. It's a big one, Mark. Yeah, 11 by 16. At least. Got a little bit of shade in here, huh? Yeah, a little bit of blue tint just to stop the algae. Richard likes the low maintenance, so yeah. no algae as you can see. Wow, Richard, this is great. Lovely, you had just a goldfish pond and you wanted to go to the koi pond, right? Yep. So how long has this pond been in here now? Just over 12 months ago. Yeah, okay. January 18th. Yep. So a year and a half old. Yep. And uh, Mark, what was here before? So it was a tiny little pond literally that big so it's six foot by four foot and we opened it right out it was a nice sloping um, beautiful pond. slope the artificial grass very low maintenance so you built the original pond how long ago uh 10 years ago okay Lost count so obviously. you enjoyed the hobby enough that you wanted to expand it oh, yeah absolutely so what is the maintenance like for someone that doesn't have a clay pond what do you actually do probably once a month just yeah, pour in the filter yeah, yeah that's, not, that's about it lot, yeah. yeah what we've got is we've got a couple of pumps inside the the skimmer and then we've got two lines one for the waterfall on the side of the pond we've got a micro skimmer up there and we've also got a micro skimmer at the top of a five foot stream and as you can see it's like a babbling brook yeah comes down and then also we've got an active bog wetland that basically percolates up through a couple of aqua blocks and we've got the intake bay, uh, the uh, pump bolt here, and that's just for the cleaning of the, the wetland filter. Which you do once a year? Yeah. Now, how does your wife like this? She doesn't, so I haven't got one. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. <laughs> Price for something like this, 11 by 16, um, with three custom water features, two waterfall filters, and then a wetland. You're looking at approximately about 20 to 25 thousand of investment, and you've got a beautiful home for a few koi. And it's basically, as you can see, it's working with nature, not against her. Not the traditional koi pond. Not at all. I think um, Richard had a problem with the caddis fly that's endemic to this area, chewing the rubber liner the first time. That's the reason why I had to rebuild the pond 10 years ago because the old liner failed because it was bare liner. The caddis fly were living on the actual liner surface. Now, we've, because we've got the rocks and the gravel, you can actually see the caddis fly larvae on the rocks in this particular pond that would have chewed the original pond liner from Sweden. But now they're on the rocks. Yeah, and it's perfectly fine. It's all part of the ecosystem. They're actually filtering the water. They're taking bits out of the water. The whole thing is a living ecosystem. Amen. And what I love about this is this is a hobby that started with just a goldfish pond. Mark came in here to fix up a goldfish pond that the liner was deteriorating. The guy loved it so much, he came back and put a koi pond in. And it's a beautiful, low maintenance ecosystem pond, which is the Aquascape way. Ponds done right, customers serve right, and customers live in the Aquascape lifestyle. Look at 
how cute this is. This is the town of Bloxham in England. And we are traveling with Mark MJ Wilson from Any Pond Limited and also the Pond Advisor on YouTube. So check out his Pond Advisor channel. And we're gonna go see one of his ponds right now. Now this is a big yard in England. Yeah, this is why I brought you here. A little nice garden. An 11 by 16 here for goldfish. Yeah. And dragonflies. Again, a lot of submerged weed. Which is a wow. Uh huh. Wow. It comes with uh, dragonfly. It's a common data, this brown small one. Yeah. It's very hard to pick it up on the camera, but it's very small. It's about an inch long. Got him. I got him. I'm a camera guy. So what we had before was you had basically a pond that was very high maintenance. It was covered in duckweed and we had a great big conifer here. We've still got a little bit of duckweed on here, but because now we've got a skimmer, it skims it off. So it's not a problem at all. And we've also got a micro falls elevated so you can actually see it from the house. During the construction, we actually found a great big chunk of concrete. We don't know to the day what it actually is, but what we did in the end was that we overcame it because we actually created a fish tunnel. So there's actually a tunnel underneath here. So I've just put a little bit of food on just to see if they'll come out. To, they might smell the food and then come out. Once again, this is a rebuild. So much of Mark's projects are rebuilds of existing water features that didn't really work. What's the problem? What's the paradigm shift that people need to have? I think a lot of the time is it's basically, it's all to do with maintenance. In the UK, they associate ponds with being high maintenance. And I actually go by, don't blame the pond, blame the pond designer. Because here, we only clean this out sort of like once a year. We have to trim and detail the plants a little bit. You know, there's no blangy weed, no nothing. But certainly it's a case of when you haven't got the right design, then yes, it is a lot of work, a lot of attention. The biofalls and skimmer are alien concepts over yeah, here. It's basically a case of it's something in the come from America. We've got a skimmer that takes off the surface, so it's a highly oxygenated water. It's not down the bottom, it's not taking the worst kind of water. And we don't have a problem with the with the circulation or anything because obviously you've got flow, you've got high turnover. You know, we haven't got a high fish load in this particular pond. It's absolutely fantastic. Lots of dragonflies, lots of wildlife, the sound of a beautiful flowing waterfall, it's absolutely perfect. first year you came was it seven years now to pandemonium yeah it was august 2013. okay and how would you describe your your first experience at your first visit to america too yeah right? it was my first visit to america and i went to the shared aquarium and oh my god completely different to the uk i had a lot of reservations because I've been building ponds for 25 years before coming out to America. I didn't need to learn how to build a pond from you guys in America. It wasn't about the product. I was just blown away by the amount of people. Basically. Biggest event in the world for pond contractors yeah. and retailers. Pondemonium every August. And it was basically 500 pond contractors. Greg had me up on stage. I was nervous as hell. I was sweating. <laughs> Can you remember that? Yeah, I got up on stage and I came back and it took me a month to basically work out what I was doing wrong, not making any money. Mm -hmm. And basically it was a case of, I turned my business around. The next year I doubled my business, the next year I tripled my business. And it's fantastic because now I can pay it forward to other pond contractors and landscapers and help you source product, help you live the aquascape lifestyle. And it's amazing. And I've been going for seven years, every single year I've been going. And that's what I love about my job, meeting cool people and changing lives. I love my job and my art.